Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 How you doing? So I'm going to do a video now on not a controversial subject matter, but on the one hand, you have buy the dip, okay? <laughs> and on the other hand, you have dollar cost averaging. Well, I got to admit, full disclosure, when I first got into the crypto space, early, tw early 2017 is when I started to invest. Um, I used to hear that a lot, buy the dips. And on one level, I knew what it meant when the price goes down, you buy. And then I started to hear about um, I didn't know that people did this in the crypto space, but dollar cost averaging. And I've known dollar cost averaging from more from the stock market, frankly, than when I first heard it in 2017. And I haven't been in the crypto space that long. I got accustomed to it or first heard about it late 2016. So I've been around a little bit. I'm not an expert. I, I don't want to be like, you know, I know more than you, but I'm starting to get a little tired <laughs> when people say, buy the dip. I'm like, what does that really mean? Does that mean when your project that you're investing in or potentially want to invest in, does that mean when it goes down 5%? Does that mean when it goes down 8%? Does that mean when it goes down 12%? Like buying the dip seems a little, um, a little vague to me, right? Like buy the dip, it's kind of like what I think a lot of people talk about, but not that many people do in practice. So I like to use the term dollar cost averaging so whether you do that the first week of every month or the first week of every quarter or i don't know every friday at five o'clock i have no idea i like dollar cost averaging better when people say buy the dip so I've got my little scorecard here where I've bought in VeChain, Zillica, and The Key. And I've got my other scorecard back in my other office. And I just keep track, you know. This buying the dip, that, that, you know, I just do dollar cost averaging. And to me, it's more of a mindset like, buy the dip, oh my gosh, like Bitcoin's down 30%, 40%, you know, what should I buy and how much? I just do dollar cost averaging. And I'm not one of those where, like, you know, every 45 days on the first Tuesday of the month or whatever, I buy X amount. But I just like using the term dollar cost averaging in my portfolio as opposed to um, just buying something because the price is down. Because over time, as the price goes up, dollar cost averaging will start to make more sense. And you don't really care what the price is because you've bought it in the past at a lower price. So even though it continues to go up, hence the word dollar cost averaging. So, if you feel better or more comfortable buying the dip, more power to you. The way this little guy thinks, I like to think of it, of it more in the terms of dollar cost averaging. And I don't care when I buy, what the price is. Because again, over time, again, I'm not talking about over time like in the period of six months or even 15 months or 18 months, but over 
over time, dollar cost averaging will work to your advantage. And I'm sure buying the dip is, maybe it's just a mindset, but for me, buying the dip, I never really understood that, even though in practice, I know what it means. Anyhow, that's what this guy's thinking. And um, let's see, so for VeChain, one, two, three, I've bought five times since July. And Zillica, excuse me, I've bought three times since August. And the key, I bought twice and 11.23, that was what, a couple of days ago, I actually bought some at 0 0.0009, but I also bought some at 0 0.002241. Anyhow, Crypto Mentor 99, this guy's dollar cost averaging, but in the end, it's all about accumulation. That's what I'm after, accumulation. Anyhow, Crypto Mentor 99, love y'all. See you later. Bye-bye.